And Carlos, I think we are live. So let's uh, let's go in. Hey, uh, thanks. Uh, we're a little late. Uh, I had some issues on my end, so uh, we're a little late. I apologize for that. And I uh, just wanted to get uh, jump in. Thank you for taking the time, whether you're doing this live with us or you're doing this into the future, a couple of months from now. Uh, this is a little timely information. My name is Pat Howlett from uh, Local Stash. It's an online database of 700 of the coolest rural resort towns in America. And so if you go to localstash.com, um, you'll be able to uh, grab your local stash card and uh, use it in some of the places uh, that we have here. Uh, Trinidad, of course, is one of those coolest rural recreation towns. And uh, I'm joined today um, by Carlos. Carlos is one of the partners in Fisher Speak Outfitters on Main Street here in Trinidad. Carlos is one of those guys that uh, you want to live in your community. You want Carlos in your town. Uh, he and his wife own Fisher Peak Outfitters, but more than that, they're very active in lots of areas of the uh, of, of what goes on in this community. And so, uh, always trying to make it better for the folks who live here and the folks who visit. Welcome, Carlos. Really appreciate you taking the time to talk about this festival. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah. Um, so, the uh, let's just let's jump right in. Okay. So Trinidad, this festival, and let me uh, let me share this real quick. This festival, uh, let, let's see, we're going to be talking about fly fishing, okay? And this festival is going to be in Trinidad, Colorado. That's Fisher's Peak. The river's right down over in here, okay? And so what we're going to try and do is let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, this right here. And let's pop that in. Hang on one second. So this is the um, drop of that there. Uh, we'll grab this. This is the um, um, festival that we're, we're going to be talking about right now. I'm going to hide. Hello. Going to be pretty darn a sweet. And so, Carlos, uh, tell me a little bit about this: is the International Fly Fishing Festival, Film Festival, right? Correct. Tell us a little bit about that. So, uh, we were approached by Orvis because uh, we're an authorized Orvis dealer here in Trinidad, and they have these film festivals that go throughout North America with this particular organization called the IF4 or the International Fly Fishing Film Festival. It's based out of British Columbia, Canada. And they just try to promote healthy ecosystems, the passion of fly fishing, whether it's in streams, rivers, ocean sides. I mean, just fly fishing wherever you can possibly fish. It's just a different application. So we thought that would be such a wonderful thing to bring here to Trinidad as we are also guiding here on our local river and people are having a great time. We're, you know, a young fledgling company, but yet guiding is definitely a way to get people into the activity, the sport, and just uh, another uh, option for people here in Trinidad to take advantage of our outdoor activities. Well, yeah, we're going to jump into that a little bit, but back on this festival, if somebody saw that map, this, this is, this is all over the place, but it's not in small, it doesn't seem to be in as many small communities. So Trinidad's really fortunate to be able to be on that map and have this festival coming. Now it's going to be, give us the dates and, and the place uh, kind of thing right now as well. Well, right now we're going to have that at the Main Street Live Theater at uh, 131 West Main Street in downtown Trinidad on June 3rd, this 2023. Uh, it's a Saturday. We are going to open the doors at four o'clock where we'll have a couple of clinicians there to give demonstrations on fly tying and fly casting and other things uh, right before the film gets going at 6.30 p.m. The tickets are $20 each, and they are all going to the local Trout Unlimited chapter of the Purgatory River Anglers here in Trinidad to help uh, provide other amenities for youth education, women's programming, uh, river cleanup days, etc., which all just benefit our river, as well as... Um, restocking the river with uh, fish for our people to take advantage of uh, fishing in our local stream. Yeah. If, if you've not been to, to, to Trinidad, uh, we've got the Purgatory River and it runs right through town. And there's some amazing work being done by organizations, by companies like Carlos's, by the Purgatory um, Watershed Partnership, by 
the, the Trouts Unlimited uh, folks by citizens. On Saturdays, about once a month, there's a big cleanup that goes on down there. So we really care about this river. And I always say, if you don't have a river in your town, you can't order one. It, you just had to have one. Uh, and we've got a we've got a great one now. Carlos, there's 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 some real fishing in our river. If you oh if yeah, you to, definitely. I mean, if you go over to Moose's, been... yeah, if you go over to Moose's <laughs> next to you, you'll see what Howard has over there. But tell us a little bit about what somebody can catch in there. Well, right now we're finding a lot of rainbow trout uh, early in the season. Um, we've even found recently some uh, German brown, which are typically more uh, noticeable in the fall when they have their run. But we are starting to see these, which is hopeful that breeding is taking place in our river. So you can also find other things like creek chub, some perch every once in a while that'll come from downstream in the warmer times of the season, but it's predominantly going to be those four spe uh, species. So we're really excited just to get people on the river fishing, having a good time. We promote catch and release just so that way we can continue to have these experiences in a you know positive manner and keep our fish healthy and active and keep going on our river. Yeah, and, and again, we have uh, so Purgatory River is uh, we, we certainly there's opportunities in Trinidad and around Trinidad, but there's a lot of opportunities. I hear there's a certain Carlos that goes west of us upriver, and has and there's some good places west of us if you're in the region. So we have good fly fishing and fishing opportunities throughout the whole region here. Purgatory River and this film festival is going to be in town. We invite you to, to take part of that. But tell us a little bit about going up west uh, of us here, going up river. Well, you have different areas like in the Bosque del Oso State Wildlife Area. People can go there and enjoy brook trout fishing in the South Fork section of the uh, Purgatory River. Or you can even take advantage at another location where you're on the Middle Fork section of the river. Uh, if you continue going further west and north, you can hit the North Fork State Wildlife Area, which is the North Fork section of the Purgatory River. And again, there you can take advantage of some great brook fishing as well. If that's if you're into the river and creek kind of style, but there's also a lot of lakes and ponds around here that are great areas, not only west, but even to our southeast. If you go to the Lake Dorothy State Wildlife Area. Yep. So we have a plethora of places to take advantage of angling, which is fun. It's a healthy activity. It's just a really nice thing to do that's um, great for families or individuals. However you want to split that lip, you can go out and catch some fish. Well, yeah, and that's a good thing. And you know, I, I appreciate you saying, because we've got, I, when, you know, I, sh I showed folks, uh, you know, um, this is Trinidad right here. Right on the other side of here is New Mexico, pretty much. Uh, and in New Mexico, is, there's Raton. And there's a lot of opportunities. And we're real friendly with our with our neighbors to the uh, to the south of us. And we, we when you're here, you can be in Colorado doing some things. You can be in southern Colorado, but you can also be in northern new mexico and it's a it's a different it's a different kind of place down there different mountains different landscape different yeah, you know i mean you could go to the sugar reed state park in new mexico and fish lake maloya you can go uh towards cimarron where they have the cimarron creek through there and fish which is some really great water or you go over that pass into eagle nest and you have uh well the reservoir there and amongst other things, you can continue on to taos or cuesta red river i mean there's there's a lot of great angling in this section of the country that's exactly right. And, and, and shh, a lot of folks don't know about this. So keep it a secret. OK, we're just telling you we don't and tell just your family and close friends. But there's there uh, back to the festival. So we've got the festival going on. And again, it's not that's not everywhere. And you and you and a group of folks were able to put that together. And again, some of those partners name the, the folks associated with the festival. So we give a good shout out to them. Well, our biggest partner right now is going to be Orvis. They're the ones that, of course, brought this to our attention but you have other companies. So I have a flyer right here. So we have all of our other, you know, sponsors and members, whether it's Able Rods or Trout Unlimited Chapters and other groups, but they are definitely the people who really help promote all of this for, I mean, all of these groups throughout the country. In fact, it's going on in North America. You'll even find this film series being screened in Iceland and Reykjavik. So it's all over Canada, Alaska, the continental U.S. It's just a great thing that happens here um, on our part of the planet, really. Yeah. And, and again, uh, we've got the uh, Purgatory River Anglers, uh, um, Trout Unlimited uh, chapter here that's involved in this. We've got, you, you know, you always have to give a shout out to the, our irrigators. Who, who actually have calls on the water and they actually, the, the, the river's vital to 
them and their livelihood and in, in, in growing in agriculture, but they also know that it's that it's essential for recreation and those kinds of things. So we've got great partners in the uh, in our uh, in our um, irrigators and our water, some of our water right folks. We've got uh, the Purgatory uh, uh, River Partnership, uh, PWP, uh, and uh, and there's just. I guess what I'm saying is there's a lot of even small towns like Trinidad where we have less than 10,000 people. There's a lot of folks that come out and help make these things, uh, these things happen. And if you've not been to Main Street Live, uh, it is a really great asset in our community. It's all we've got a, a repertory theater. We've got plays going on there. We've got comedy going on there all the time. So this is really cool to focus in. I want to get to some of the other activities that are going on. So there's and you, you, you mentioned it. But there's uh, there's because I, I I believe this is for folks that are also hey I've been thinking about fly fishing I've always wanted to fly fish how do I get started in fly fishing so some of the the fly tying some of the fly casting the clinics that are there the, there's these two clinics that are there so this isn't just for your angler that's that's all geared up right yeah. this is for this is actually for somebody to say. You know, I'm, let me check into this, right? So you can be any level of experience or no experience, correct? Definitely. And we have a lot of people here in our community who have been spin casting for their whole lives with, you know, the classic Zebco or, uh, yep. you know, a Shimano or whatever it may be, bass fishing, ice fishing. But they've never really dabbled with, you know, fly fishing because maybe they had a bad experience or you know, they just never really got into it. For whatever reason, we're going to try to expose more people to another application of fishing. So we will have a like a casting clinic. We'll also have a fly tying because this is something that people can do and create their own, you know, tackle, which is really quite affordable considering how expensive some lures and other things can be. This is just going to be a great experience for people to really take advantage and become craftsmen with the trade as well as really get to enjoy it. Uh, we're also hoping to teach people about the basic components of fly rods and reels all the way from the backing line to the tippet and everything in between. So there's, there's a, a bit of a science to it when it comes down to the weights of your rods and reels, depending on the size of the fish that you want to catch, just like you would have with a spin cast system. So it's going to be a really nice time. We also are going to have some raffling gifts to, uh, I was going to get to that. Play yeah. some funds as well. We have a four hundred dollars worth of uh, prizes, etc., to raffle away. And again, all the proceeds go to our local nonprofit Trout Unlimited chapter, the Purgatory River Anglers. So it's it's for a good cause. Uh, it's going to be a great film. It's going to be a nice attraction for downtown Trinidad in the summer at the beginning and get people fired up about fishing. Well, you know, here's the thing. I I mean, I can bring my daughter. I can bring my son. Right. I can bring both. Or, or, or uh, you know, so youth uh, encouraged to bring youth, right? And encouraged Definitely. to get somebody started on this when they're really early. There's few things better, and I think if like, there's few things better than just getting you and your kids or your sweetie or something like that out outdoors, out in the wild a little bit, on the river, hearing those kinds of sounds and doing those kinds of things. And so, uh, you know, I know people have been trapped up for the last couple of years a little bit. We're we're saying get you know. You're free to move around the country, right? You're free to get out there and have some fun, and and this is going to be, uh, this is going to be something to do. Now, when people come here for this festival or just during this summer, um, we have some good places to camp too, don't we? Oh yeah, there's more than just fishing out here. We have a, we're very lucky down here to have so many places to go and explore and not be inundated with a ton of other people. Um, it's really yeah. been a, a quiet secret down here. We've been able to enjoy that where we're not, you know, on top of each other with other people enjoying the out of doors. And that's a wonderful thing about Southern Colorado, especially here in the Sangre de Cristo range. Um, as you go further east into the canyons and the plains, I mean, yeah. there's so much to explore out there that people are just aren't aware of. So like Carrizo Canyon or, you know, Picture Canyon, or I mean, Cottonwood Canyon, there, so much. Sorry. So much. <laughs> I'm just like, so much. I of all these yeah, games, well, but there, there's just a, a, a wealth of history and cultural um, places that we can go and take advantage of and learn so much about other applications of Colorado. That's exactly right. I mean, we're one of the few areas that has two state parks. You know, we're, we have we have a great river that goes through, but we've got Trinidad Lake uh, State Park. So you've got that lake experience that you have. Then we've got Fisher's Peak. I showed that up there. So you got you got a lot of 
So you have, and, and then you go again, you go up river and you got Monument Lake and you've got some great things up there in the Monument Lake Resort. I know Brett's done an amazing job just in, in making that a, a, a world-class operation. And it's just minutes, minutes, some of these things are minutes up from, from town. But there's also, uh, we have great hiking here. Uh, and so when, you, when you're when you here, there's great places to hike, camp, and fish. You can do some trifecta kinds of things here. And so um, I know we have some, you and, and, and I want to get some of the things that, that uh, Fisher Peak Outfitters does. You guys do, um, I, I'm going to share my screen real quick. Uh, by the way, that was fly, uh, flyfilmfest.com, flyfilmfest.com. And um, yeah, you can book your tickets online or you can come, you can get them here at Fisher's Peak Outfitters. You can get them at Moose's right next door at 308 West Main Street, or you can get them the day of at uh, 131 West Main Street at Main Street Live Theater, which I, I also want to give Miss Allison England a big shout out. She has been a great partner to work with and very accommodating. And uh, they're, they're just a, a great um, asset to our community. We're very thankful for them. Without a doubt. And uh, let me let me bring this in. I'm going to hide both us. I think is really important uh, here. Let me bring my my friend Carlos back in is that um, you actually do offer guiding trips too, correct? Yes. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's there's an opportunity for somebody to come in here, no equipment at all. I, I really want to focus on this because, you know, a lot of times do something new, do something you've not done before. Jump out there. The water's fine. Stretch yourself a little bit. So somebody can come to this festival. They can go to the clinics. You're right on Main Street, pretty much catty corner to where this event's going to be. They can rent equipment. Yes. Let, I bring somebody in here. They've never done this before. What can they get from Fisher Speak Outfitters? Well, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to learn how to fly fish, we will rent the waders, the boots, the tackle, um, the basic components that you would need to go out and fish. So that's a great thing. And it's really inexpensive. So someone can dabble and see, is this something I want to invest money in? Because we do sell a quality product, but not everyone is ready to commit to that without practicing. We right. also offer guided services that will teach people as well. So they can take the applied knowledge with the tackle and rental equipment and go put that to actual use when they're trying to cast on the river or at the lakes, wherever, and find out if this is something that they are interested in and want to pursue. When it comes to backpack camping, we also rent other supplies in that regard too, whether it's tents or cooking stoves other uh, equipment to help people get back there because again this equipment is a quality equipment and can get pricey um but we still offer it at a very affordable rate where people can try some things and see if this is for them and it's just a nice application for uh, everybody really well i mean this is similar we, we, you know you don't just go skiing buy the equipment and then just go and say you know i'm going to start doing some moguls you go and you maybe rent some equipment. You take some classes. You hit the. You, you learn how to how to snow plow. You do those kind of things. And the same thing. And I think most people understand the quality is almost always less expensive than the other option because it just lasts longer. It's better. It does. It, it it's more productive in almost all those areas. So definitely, well, the well, adage is true. You get what you pay for, and that's, that's exactly right. And longevity is part of that inherent value with the products that we sell. I always say that, go ahead. I always think the thing to do is is your first couple of experiences, you know, rent some equipment, rent different kinds of equipment, mm -hmm. figure out what boots fit you, what this fits you, figure out that kind of stuff, and then you'll 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 be gaining experience, a little bit of knowledge, you'll some proficiency, maybe a love, which is hopefully what you get is a little love for it, and then you say, okay, now that I tested this, that Orvis equipment that I got. That was really good. It fit well. It worked really well. I know how to get the best uh, out of it. And then, you know, an investment in, I always think an investment in you and your quality of life and you getting out there, that's that's probably one of the best investments you can make. So spend a little bit more money there. I'm not encouraging anybody to break the bank, but spend a little more money there and get good stuff that's going to give you the quality experience for out there rather than being out there with something that isn't very good, it breaks on you. And now you've spent all this time getting out in the woods, hiking and camping, and you're out there 
and now you have some equipment that just isn't just uh, isn't going to serve you well. So, um, and people can rent equipment from you. They can get guide services. Again, one of the things I really like about what you guys do is um, I can rent some equipment. I can get some some easy stuff. But uh, let's say I'm a fly fisherman and I'm 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 from out of state, but I'm actually real proficient. I'm I'm good. I I know what I'm doing. I can actually get one of your guides to take me out to a place where I'm going to get the best experience at that period of time um, it, with the kind of fishing that I want to do. Right. So you guys have it to where I can book a guide for the day. Right. Of course. Yes, we do. Yeah. Half day, full day. And then we have a fly fishing 101, which is a two hour class, which is anywhere from one to three people for one hundred dollars and teaches people the basics of the fly rods, the casting, not tying and proficiency in putting the fly where you want it to land, not just getting caught up in the wind or, you know, right. branches or whatever. It's basically just, it's like having, you know, your grandpa come and teach you how to fish. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that, that's awesome. So um, the, uh, this is, again, I'm just going to re regroup a couple of things. This is a, a film festival. I would think that the four, I have four means this is the fourth year they've done this. I think it's just for the four F's. Ah, Fly Fishing Film Festival. Okay, okay. Um, so International Fly Fishing Festival all over the world. Uh, it's coming here to Trinidad. You have uh, you have friends. Yep. You uh, go to uh, flyfilmfest.com. You, uh, I'll be putting those in the notes in the segment notes below, so that you'll be able to if you if you run across this, we'll do this here. We'll do this on a YouTube thing. We'll do this on our site. We'll do it in all those areas so you have all those references, reference points um, on that. The date again? June 3rd to Saturday. June. And it's inexpensive. Yes, $20 is going to get you in. And again, we're going to have clinicians there teaching you things about fly fishing. Um, we're hoping to find uh, more people to come in and give more clinics, but yet not feel like it's overwhelmed like a uh, certain fairs can be we want it to be very intimate but yet you know exciting well and i'll, I'll say i because i know a lot of the folks that probably will be there and helping out it's okay to pull somebody aside and say carlos howard come aside where do you guys go what do you do you're going to actually there's there's going to be some knowledge just in making some relationships and some friends that you probably can't get anywhere else you know exactly. uh, talk to the talk to the folks that are always in the river and you'll know more about the river you know exactly so we're gonna have a lot of our locals that have been angling here and know the the honey holes of sorts you know and, and just basically sharing that knowledge with people because you don't want to go and fish and not catch anything the ultimate goal is to to have that excitement of having a fish at the end of your line and you know that thrill and like we say we promote um catch and release so we like to put it back take a picture put it back in the water give that fish life you know um of course, we do have people that do like to consume them. That's up to you. But uh, we just want right. to everyone has a great opportunity to catch fish. Well, you know, and, and, and the thing that I always like to think about when you're doing this, you're coming down to Trinidad. And it's June. Um, get here early. Have some donuts or bagels or breakfast in the morning with some great coffee. We've got great shops here. Cool owners. You'll see the owner in the place. The owner will be in almost all of our businesses. Uh, we also have then go fly fishing, go to the go to the event, go to the festival. And then at the end of the day, there are great places to have some wings or a burger or a pizza, a beer, uh, whatever, and, uh, and enjoy some time with friends. So we've got we've got you covered on both bumpers of the festival in the morning. You can start your day off in Trinidad in the area doing things in the evening. You can stop with some friends and just uh, talk about what you caught and what you let loose and 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 then say i'll get him again because you let him loose and it'll be maybe bigger the next time you know you uh you come back to to the river anything we've uh, left out i always try and kind of stay on time with this stuff anything we've left out anything that people you think they should know if you want to find out more information you can reach us directly uh you can reach us at 719-422-8223 or you can find us online at fisherspeakoutfitters.com so awesome. Either way you want to reach out to us, we can receive contact through those mechanisms, but we look forward to just bringing people down here. We're hoping to receive some money so we can advertise on uh, the local television stations in uh, Southern Colorado and hopefully even in Northern New Mexico to just start bringing people here because it's in the middle between Santa Fe and Denver. And 
we've already seen people coming down here because they're tired of the rat race up there yep. and they're enjoying our little part of heaven. So yeah, I mean, yeah, just, yeah so, so, and here's the thing. So this is, uh, if you go to localstash.com, you're going to actually see a map of the area. So whether you're in a hotel camp or wherever you're able to get around, you'll see our little icons there that are uh, participating businesses. So you can see who's, uh, who's there. They'll give you a little discount if you show them your cards or download that card. But you're going to be able to uh, you're going to be able to actually um, do some things. Now, one of the things, the reason I show that is, Carlos, local stash will be promoting this. We're going to take this. Uh, we've we've mapped out some time pre June to our advertising. We'll actually be advertising this event, and we'll be doing it up in Pueblo, maybe Colorado Springs, certainly in northern New Mexico, and in our area, just to build some awareness uh, of the event. I think. I think this is one of those things that you don't get an opportunity to get to. If you're in Denver, you're three hours away. Come on down. If you're down in New Mexico, Santa Fe, you're three hours away. Come on up. We, you know, come on up. Uh, if you're here's the thing. If you live in our area, get into town. It may have changed since the last time. I'm always, I'm always, I always laugh at the number of folks that have said that may have been here generations. And you say, well, you know, we have an outfitting shop right on Main Street. And they'll say, I didn't know that. I said, come on now, just drive in the town. It's it would probably one of the easiest walkabout towns you're going to find in Colorado. We are very walkabout friendly. Very uh, friendly. There's several yeah. municipal parking lots to take advantage of. Yeah. Uh, it's just, a, it's a nice community and we're just happy to be a part of it. It's my hometown. So of course I, you know, have a lot of deep rooted memories here, but um, we just want to see that Trinidad grows and does well. And everyone that comes here has a great time. Perfect. Perfect. So, okay. So appreciate you taking the time to do this, uh, share this with some friends. If you know fly fishermen, if you know anybody that's in this outdoor recreation, let them know that Trinidad's literally uh, should be on their map uh, and they should take a peek at us. Um, thanks, Carlos. Really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, I'm all the notes that you said, all the link, uh, the websites, the phone, the phone numbers, the dates, the, that kind of thing. All those will be in the segment notes. Uh, in all the places where we're going to be showing this video. So if you didn't take any notes, we'll, we took them for you and we'll make them available to you. Carlos, say hey to Lee for me and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so I, much. I, make sure you check out that link from IF4. They've got a film trailer in there, which is really uh, fun. Nice. So uh, who doesn't like a film trailer? Yeah. Thanks, Carlos. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great one. And.